Welcome back. If you've gone this far, you've seen many of our learning videos and now you're moving on to the next step. And what we're going to do here is learn how to create multiple dashboards and navigate between them. That's our key thing. We've In earlier videos, we've shown how to create worksheets, load data, and do analysis in Tableau. But now we're going to take that very next step. And so we're going to cover here an overview of what exactly a dashboard is, how it's shown. We're talking about data prep and acquisition. We always have a data element in Tableau. You always have to acquire data and then think about where you get this data from. We're going to create multiple dashboards. And then when we create those dashboards, we're going to add photos, images, and navigation buttons to move between one dashboard and the other dashboard. So I'll pause here. We'll jump over to Tableau. So here we are in Tableau. And what I like to go into presentation mode. You can do this by highlighting where you see the screen here. If you click it in the screen, what you see is from our resume example of my resume. And what I put in here are some my image, some some of the worksheets that we created, which is a Gantt chart, a geography-based location, places I've worked, and then a skills matrix. Then I have some buttons that navigate here, and you see there's some cool images. It's not just buttons. I actually have images navigating on this. So if I click one of those, I go to my um, capabilities cloud. These are the things I'm able to do. We turn to my resume. And go to maybe my project history. I did a lot of project work. So you see, you can actually look at an item and then navigate between them. This is very important when you're distributing a workbook because you can't put everything in one dashboard, nor should you. A lot of times you want to start at a very high level and then dive deeper, right? You want to kind of tease your audiences with the high level, like, what is this? And then dive deeper. So if I really I could actually have maybe individual dashboard for every one of the companies I worked in my resume example, or maybe every one of the countries I worked in, maybe something I did unique in every country, or the skills, maybe examples of the exact the actual work I did with each one of these platforms. This is an example of a dashboard that navigates between them. But more than an example, we actually have to go out and create one. So let's hit the escape button and go to create. Now you see here in my tableau, I have the three dashboards and you don't see any worksheets that's because I hid them all and here I have a blank dashboard let's just delete this and start from scratch and so right now all we have are dashboards that are already created so let's start from scratch let's just go out and do this and to go out and do this we click on the button that says new dashboard and now here we are at the new dashboard button and you see you don't see anything here like you see some of the other videos well, the reason for that is none of my worksheets are showing. They're all hidden. So let's go to my resume dashboard and click unhide. So you can learn how to hide and unhide. Now we'll come back to our new dashboard. If that got confusing, we'll just delete it and start over. And we'll create a new dashboard. Now, you'll notice in a new dashboard, now we have some sheets, mainly because I unhid them. Now the key to creating a dashboard is you need to have worksheets. Without worksheets, you can't do anything. Now you have two options in bringing these worksheets over. It's as simple as dragging. Um, right now you see I have it floating. Let's hit the back button to get rid of it. You can bring it over tiled, which takes a whole quadrant, right? This is the palette gets fully autom automatically profiled within the one sheet. And if you drag a second one over, it splits them. I don't really like that way of doing it. I like my dashboards more controlled. It's more of a preference. So I like floating dashboards. So if I click work by geo, I can bring my geography dashboard in here and then I can decide whether or not I want the legend in here or not. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, you can remove it just like that. Then maybe at this point, I bring in my Gantt chart and I, I adjust the size. As you can see, I adjust my size here and the Gantt chart comes in pretty good. That was cool, but maybe I need to make it a little bit bigger. There we go, everything fits in there. So I showed my geography, where I worked, places I worked, and I showed my Gantt chart. Now, we created a dashboard floating, and let's go ahead and add something. Maybe we would add an image, and we showed this in a previous video, but we drag image over, right up here, say. It says choose an image, and I, I choose my picture of myself, my professional image, and say okay now here I have my professional image and now I have a dashboard with my professional image in it but the next thing is well maybe I want to show another image that would be kind of interesting maybe my LinkedIn image so I bring over the image again choose an image and here I go towards LinkedIn Let's see if this will work I have to go out and get a LinkedIn image 
ah, it did work. I just went to um, Google and I pulled down an image of LinkedIn, but it's not cool enough. What we need to do is edit the image and this sheet says target URL. So you could go over and grab maybe the target URL. Make sure you don't grab a, something that it should be a public image or your public LinkedIn image. You don't want to actually grab one that you have to log in to, into. I see a lot of people put these together and they grab the wrong image. Let's paste it in. And then the, the way you activate it, you go back to presentation mode, you click it and it automatically opens up your LinkedIn. Let's go back. So you see how that activated. There's no no linking here. It's been going. This actually went somewhere. So let's take a moment. We've covered quite a bit here. So the first thing we did was we decided where we wanted to tile the floating. Then we brought the worksheets in that we wanted. I wanted two worksheets in here: career and education and work by Geo. Then I decided that I wanted a professional photo and a link to my LinkedIn for people who could actually do that. You could put a lot of target URLs like join my LinkedIn, befriend me, um, Facebook, Twitter all those kind of things, just get an image and do it because it's very clear that this is LinkedIn, it says LinkedIn. But now let's create a second dashboard. And now this dashboard is a little bit different. We already have on the other dashboard, maybe we have geo and, and that, but we don't really have skills. So we have a worksheet, they're all controlled by data. So let's look at the legend. Well, maybe I'll keep this legend actually. I'll bring it over here. I'll show the skills. And it's like, okay, this gets the skills. But you know, the interesting thing is when I'm in presentation mode, if somebody uses my, my dashboard, all I see is this. They don't may not know how to navigate in Tableau. So what we need to do is show them how to navigate in Tableau. So the way we do that, if we drag the navigation button over and the navigation button, we click edit button. And what we do is we just simply navigate to what we're calling it. If you see in our case, we call it dashboard four. So let's stay with dashboard four for a minute. We're going to change the name in a second. Uh, button style, text button, use some other options. Image button, text button, you can make an image. Optional title. Let's say go to resume. If it's my resume dashboard, have a little bold. Okay, I'll take bold. Go to resume. And voila, we have like this. So therefore, when I go to presentation mode, I would click go to resume and it goes to resume. However, you really want to have back and forth buttons because you, you want to navigate with somebody. Just like if you were coding Excel and you have navigation buttons between worksheets, you go back and forth through something or on a web page, you always have a button to get to and from something. So it's really good. So this one is maybe this button here. You saw I just dragged the navigation over and I click the edit button and maybe navigate to dashboard five, which I have not named. And we type see my skills. And now I have to see my skills. So when I go to presentation mode, I click on it and voila, it goes to see my skills. And then I can go back to my resume. So I've created a resume in previous videos. I created a resume dashboard in this video. I was able to add a LinkedIn component, which will bring me to my LinkedIn. I could even bring it to where you can pop up in it, a Word document and actually download my, my resume. What I like to do is actually provide the link to my Tableau resume in my LinkedIn and vice versa. So when somebody's in my Tableau resume, they can see my LinkedIn. And when somebody's in LinkedIn, they can see my Tableau resume. I like to ensure that we have my skills set in one place. The other thing is, think about when you're building these resumes, you're only limited by your creativity. So what else would you want on your resume? Would you want to show your charities that you work for? your hobbies and interests that you do, maybe something specific to your industry. You know, I'm a consultant. Maybe I want to talk about all the great agile projects that I worked on and those kind of things. So what you actually do with these dashboards, it gives you an idea to feature something. And like in my case, I'm featuring my geography and my career. I say, hey, look where I worked and the places that I have worked. You know, I, if I don't like to order, you just move them around until you get to a place you do like to order. I think actually I do prefer a Gantt chart on top. And then you just move them around. They're really like, they're objects. And Tableau is really flexible this way. You can move things around. Still, nothing changed. Oh, watch this. And 
I can call this resume master and we'll call this skills master. And maybe I even create proof of my skills and do additional things. So resume master, and I come up, let's see if it works. Oh, look, it does follow. Even though you change the name, it still follows the other one. So now I have my resume master and skills master. That was good, his escape. And maybe I wanna hide these extra worksheets because I don't really need to show them. I start hiding things. And it's very clean. But yet, when my resume master and skills master are still here, and as I can navigate between them, you can see I can still get to where I need to go back and forth. So here in this learning video, we've shown you how to create a dashboard simply by going over to the dashboard icon, clicking it, then dragging any sheet that's available. You know the sheets aren't available here because I hid them. Um, you could obviously create a new sheet and add data to it and bring it in. I showed you how to um, add an image. You can also add text. You can add a web page. You can put navigation. You can add a web page in many different ways, in fairness. I actually like, I prefer to put a link to a web page. You can actually have the web page embed. So if you published a document or you have a position statement in something, you can actually pull it up right away on this one. So you can do very many things with the web page. You know, it's just don't be afraid to do it. You can put blanks in, blank sections. You can put a download thing, but basically if you want to download a resume from there, you can do that. There's so many different things that you can do from a dashboard. And we only showed, in this case, the image and the navigation button. We showed the difference between tiled and floating in that regard. Um, if you have any questions, definitely just write the notes and comments. Uh, feel Definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm constantly putting out new material and trying to help everyone get a little bit better at this. But um, it's, it was a pleasure to show you how to navigate and create a dashboard. Um, have a great day.